Yeah, this is a 33 Ford. It's steel body. Uh, you'd call it a hot rod. And uh, it's chopped, channeled. And um, no fenders, of course. And so, yeah, that's what it is. The engine was built by an uh, uh, engine shop in the East Coast called Big Ales. It's a uh, big block Chevy, so it's a 454, but it's uh, uh, bigger cubic inches now. It's 496 cubic inches. It's uh, got uh, uh, custom aluminum heads on it. It's got roller cam on it. It's got uh, a big blower and, and two 950 Hollies on it. Early on, you know, when I was 14 years old, I bought a 32 Ford and uh, worked on that car for about three years and it was a hot rod also and it was also chopped and uh, built it myself and uh, you know put the engine in it and the whole drivetrain and electrical system and it was all you know homemade basically and uh, uh, fast car and uh, you know from that point on I've been always interested in cars so I grew up reading hot rod magazines from 10 years old so I, I've always been interested in cars. At home right now, I've got a Buick Roadmaster, and uh, I just shipped uh, my father's car, which was a Jaguar XK 140 drophead coupe, which was also a really beautiful car. And so right now, I've got two cars. I've got the Buick, uh, you've seen it before, the uh, Roadmaster convertible, and, uh, and this car. Uh, I've got a daily driver, but uh, you're probably not interested in that. This really works out well for me because it starts early in the morning. And, uh, you know, it doesn't last uh, all day. And I get, um, you know, I love going around, walking around, seeing the cars, and also get my steps in, you know, uh, cardiovascular there. But, but uh, <clears throat> it works out for me because it's kind of quick. And uh, I see a lot of the local cars and get the chance to talk to a lot of people that uh, are also interested in cars. And, um, so I, I guess it's convenient and uh, they got pretty good coffee. Uh, you know, everyone thinks it's kind of a wild car. You know, it's kind of different. You know, it, uh, the builders who I knew, uh, uh, I met them, uh, they were out of South Carolina. Interesting backgrounds, they were, that, that's what they did. They, they fabricated uh, cars like this. And, uh, uh, and they, they built it uh, with the idea in mind that it would be uh, the theme of the uh, 63-ish drag car, you know? It even has on the back of it, it says car and tow. And back, back then, that's what you'd see, you know? You'd see a hot rod being towed down the street by a car, you know, with a, with a drag bar. And, and, and you'd have a car and tow on the back so everybody was coming up behind, they'd know this, this car was being towed to the drag strip. So, that was the theme of the car. That's what they wanted to get to. They put, you know, different decals on it. You know, like uh, you know, they're sponsored by a, a, a you know, a gas station, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, that's what they. Did. But they also uh, built it safe. Was, uh, the, one of the builders was a guy that just he built drag frames. You know, that's that's he was in that business, and so. If you looked at the frame of this, uh, it's it's a very it's very well engineered and uh, uh, it rides uh, really well. I mean, you, when you look at it, it's like a hot rod, but it rides as equivalent to a Porsche. It's got uh, you know front uh, independent suspension. It's got uh, discs all the way around, so it's a safe car. Uh, although it's uh, you know got a lot of horsepower. It's got 850 horsepower, so. Yeah, so, and it, it's, it's it, you know, you'd think, well, you'd probably have a stick in it, but no, it has a, what they call a drag power glide, and a power glide is a two-speed automatic transmission, so. Uh, and it, really, that's all you need. You, you don't really need a whole lot of shifting going on with all that power.